Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is my last day being back home. I'm actually gonna be going back to WKU's campus tomorrow to kind of get settled back in again and get myself ready to go back to classes. And I also have an interview I have to get ready for, so I've gotta prepare for that. But for my last day, I just wanted to chill and have one last look through town before I left. So let's go and get this thing started. I just got to my first stop. The first thing that I'm gonna be seeing in town is wasabi and it's my favorite Japanese restaurant in town and I have not had it in such a long time, but I can't wait for you guys to see it because the inside, the aesthetic and the food is all amazing. Okay guys, so I'm here in Wasabi. There's a lot more people than I thought would be here, so it's a little noisy. But guys, check out their menu because they have some pretty good stuff on here. So this is Wasabi's menu. So like you can get like a Chinese entree, which is what I got. I got the Chinese entree orange chicken house special. And then they have fried rice, lo mein. They have a lunch special, which only lasts until three, but their prices are pretty cheap for the lunch special. And of course there's a kid's meal. And then on the back, there's an appetizer, soup and salad. There's sushi that you can get, like a whole bunch of sushi. And then they have like the dinner options here to the side. And then these are their special rolls, which um, their special rolls are actually pretty good. I've only tried a few, but I haven't tried all of them. But if you're ever at Wasabi, I highly recommend trying the special rolls because they're really good. And then this is like their desserts. Their mochi ice cream and the turquoise ice cream are both good. Highly recommend would not regret. But pretty much my order's already been taken. I'm just waiting. But it's so weird being back here, guys. It's been so long since I've eaten here. And honestly, I can't wait to have their food again because I'm starving. Guys, my food just got here and check this out. This orange chicken looks so good. And the presentation is mmm. And of course, I got my egg roll to the side because I had to order it because it didn't come with the set. But I cannot wait to dig into this. I'm just waiting for my fried rice to get here and once it does, I'm gonna be digging into this because I'm super hungry. I hope it gets here soon guys because I've been sitting here for like 10-15 minutes waiting for it so I'm ready to eat. <laughs> guys, my fried rice is here. Let's dig in because I'm ready. I just finished eating my food. I'm so full. I ended up having to bring the chicken home because I couldn't finish it. <laughs> There's only a little bit left, but guys, their food tastes exactly the way I remember it. It's amazing. And it's a lot busier than I remember it to be too. I can't believe it's this busy, but I guess it's on, it is Saturday, so it makes sense. But after I finish paying my bill, we I'm gonna be heading to the next place I have in store. I'm out of wasabi super full but not too full to go to the next place i have in store and i can't wait for you guys to see this next place because this was my usual hangout place after i got out of school me and my friend mahi you guys saw in one of my videos would always hang out there and just talk and chill and man do i miss those days So as you guys saw, I went into Red Mango and Red Mango is the only place in town that sells boba. There's no other place. There used to be a place in the mall, but sadly that place closed. So now for anybody who lives in E-Town, they pretty much get their boba from Red Mango. I got the mango boba. I will say it doesn't taste the same way like it used to but it still doesn't taste bad the only thing is is that like for the mango boba you can only get like the brown sugar uh tapioca pearls i can taste the brown sugar in it and i've never had mango and brown sugar together so it's like kind of weird but it tastes bad as i've kind of been going through these places it's so weird because i haven't been here for a little while 
and literally as i'm in town and just doing the things that i used to do like on a routine basis i can't believe like this is how my life used to be compared to what it's like now in Bowling Green. It feels so nostalgic, guys. Like, it feels like that part of my life doesn't exist anymore. And it's like, it's so bittersweet. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm really gonna miss this place whenever I leave tomorrow. So I just arrived at my next destination. And guys, I'm in a very specific parking spot that means a lot to me. The parking spot that I'm in is a parking spot that I used to always look at whenever I would go to work or in my old job that I used that used to be here. Um, this is where my boss specifically parked like a majority of the time or almost like all the time. Just because the tree provided leaves to give shade to her car so that way like the inside of her car wouldn't be warm. Being here again in this specific spot in the area that I'm in, it's it's really nostalgic but i'm about to show you guys this next special place that means a lot to me and it's one of the places that became my favorite during my time here okay guys so as empty as this place is like i don't even know if you guys can see inside but it is empty but this used to be Gap Factory and it's where I used to work. It's where I met some of the best people I've ever met in my entire life. And honestly, if I could go back to a point in time and enjoy it all over again, I would. It's one of the best workplaces I've ever worked at. I'm, it makes me sad to see it this empty and the sign taking down, but I'm hoping that a new store and a new group of people can come in and make it just as fun and great as we did. I'm about to head into Old Navy because one of my old core workers actually works here and if she's here today, I might get to see her. So I just asked and I even looked around and sadly my old core worker's not here today. She's off. I'm a little sad my old core, old core worker was in Old Navy, but that doesn't mean that I still can't enjoy my time in this little shopping strip. So I'm gonna head to my my next favorite place that I used to go to. So guys, I'm actually in Ross. One of my other coworkers actually transferred here as a manager and I thought she'd be here, but she's not. <laughs> Man, I'm just not meeting any of my old coworkers today. I used to come in here a lot to like buy different clothes um, anytime that I needed cheap clothes and I wanted them to be like decent. I would always come here. I can't even explain how I'm feeling right now just by being in here. It's, it's so nostalgic. So I'm at a Ross now. Spent a little bit of time in there and just decided to go because I, I couldn't stay in there any longer. But I'm heading to my next memorable place, so let's go and see this. Okay, so sadly, whenever I walked into Five Below, they were actually in the process of closing. So I couldn't really go in there and explore, but just that small bit that I was in there, they've changed a lot. They've really upgraded the place and there's like a new sign on top of like where the snacks used to be. And guys, pretty much like Five Below was the place that I always used to get like my snacks in. So anytime that I would get hungry at work, during my 15 minute breaks, I'd like run over, grab a quick snack and like eat. It was so convenient because it's so close and I wouldn't, I would still have time to like kind of chill during my break to and eat. So it was like the best thing ever. But now I'm in Barnes and Nobles. I really miss this old setup that's like going on here in E-Town. It's so nostalgic. Guys, check out what I found in Barnes and Nobles. So like they have a K-pop section here and they have all three versions of Twice's album. This is the version that I wanted that I couldn't get in um, Target. This was the version that Target only had. <sighs> I don't have enough money to buy it. I'm so sad that it's right there and I can't get it guys. so happy to see nothing's changed like there's new books and like they've switched a few things up a little bit but this place is still the same place i used to come to whenever i needed to kind of decompress or just kind of calm down it feels great being here guys i'm just looking at different books and strangely getting the urge to read even though i don't read a lot so i don't know if that's going to come out to be anything i do still have a lot of books at home that I haven't read yet that i still need to read but I just love being here, guys. So many memories. Well, after exploring Bronson Nobles, I pretty much went home, said my goodbyes to town, and now I'm about to just chill for the rest of the night and also start packing 
because um, I'll be waking up early tomorrow morning to get ready to leave. I have to be everybody else who's going back to campus because I have to make sure that like I get my parking spot near my dorm to kind of carry my stuff up and then also have some time to do my laundry and laundry mat before everybody comes back. It's been a pretty great spring break and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning to head back to WKU's campus. I'm up. It's WKU move-in day. I am gonna start getting ready to head back. Um, I pretty much have everything packed. Check this out. I just need to eat breakfast and take a shower, have everything ready, and then pretty much get everything in my car. But it is freezing this morning, guys. I mean, like, I can feel it in my room. I literally had trouble sleeping last night, and then I woke up this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, it's like super cold. I'm hoping that it's not too windy. I'm like, supposedly it's windy, and I hate driving whenever it's windy. But I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready, and I'll see you guys once I'm all ready to go. I'm uh. Bye, <laughs> Just... See you Bye. next time. <laughs> but you're gonna take me. See you later. Bye. Guys, right, so I'm all ready now. I'm gonna start packing all my stuff in my car. I have a lot of stuff that I need to take with me, so hopefully I don't freeze as I'm taking these down, but let's start getting ready to go back to WKU. <laughs> Well guys, I'm pretty much all packed up and ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching my spring break mini series and just seeing what I did over spring break. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't yet, go through my college vlogs and see what my college life has been like the past eight weeks before spring break. And be ready because you guys will see me with more adventures back on WKU's campus. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.